Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children all ages, welcome to Dark Veer to the left. Uh, this is a game. I forget where I bought it from. Bought it? Got it from even. It's a Alpha. Might have been from Alpha Beta. Is there any... Well, let's see what this is about. Time for bed, sweetheart. It's very late. But I want to... I won't be able to sleep if you're away. I will be home before you wake up. It's only one week. I'm going to be asleep for a week. Yes, it's needed to get you off of these opioids. But they're the only thing that I got going for me, Dad. I know, honey, you're not a very attractive young man. But still, try your best. Okay, Dad. I think I've seen someone play this already. And I think it's not the kind of game I enjoy. <laughs> Chapter 1. There's a hidden monkey collectible in each level. Do I need to spank the monkey? And I can't see what's down there. Is there something important down there? Okay, Wasta to move around. X to climb down from bed. Where's my bed? Hi, Mr. Bunny. Anyways, uh, pause game. Uh, interact with bed. You're not climbing into bed. What does this say? To begin night one. Okay, so this is forgiving. Let me walk around. To close window. Collectible found. Sweet. Apparently I found the monkey. Nice little pop rocket. Is that a Famicom? No, it's... Well... It's kind of. Hi. So this is one of these games, uh, not a Five Night Freddy clone, but similar where, uh, what do you call it, uh, managing, uh, resources, no, managing, um, oh, just a management sim, basically, I'm gonna have to keep pushing buttons everywhere, so. Hello. I hit X. Does that do anything? And again, what's in the lower corner there? I can't see. The door. When the door opens, turn the lamp on. It hates lights. Okay. Run over to the window. Close the window. When it opens, listen carefully. Sleep bar. To continue to fall asleep. Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, not fill up. Mm -hmm. When the alarm clock rings, run over and turn it off or they will move quicker. Okay, so that's why I don't leave the light on. Okay. So I can cl Where's the alarm? Oh, here it is. So what was I supposed to do with the window? So the idea is, if I do that, climb in bed. Then get out, check everything because who knows what's happening. I don't know what sounds make what just yet. Oh. Is it on? Nope. I, oh, fuck it. I'm dead. Continue. Climb out of bed. That's on. Okay. Where'd you come from? Don't you hate it when you're trying to sleep and some succubus comes and suck you off in the most pleasurable way possible? I swear. I did. I think, again, it's hard to tell. Can I continue? There we go. So this is one of these management ones. Again, I don't know what to call them other than just... Yeah, there. I am missing a chunk of the screen here. Hold on. Oh, that might have been what killed me is I went to the... Come on. So that's off. Is when the window opened. Out. Hold on. 
Why aren't you running? All right, so that's on. All right, nothing's on. Oh, hold on. All right, nothing. It's just a door. Can I shut the door? Nope. Oh, hold on. Okay. Yeah, so it's just managing these three things. Apparently I can't sprint anywhere. All right, doors closed, windows closed. All right. Just, again, this is the gameplay. All right, hold on. Turn that on. All right, windows are shut, it's just the door. Just gotta wait for the door to shut. Matter of fact, I'll stand here next to the clock. Door shut. Lamp off. Betty, Betty, time, time. And again, the alarm's gonna be the next thing to go off. Oh, hold on. That was a noise. Fuck off. Why can't I just hide underneath my sheet like normal? Huh? Shut that. Door's not open. Okay. Yeah. Just... And again, at some point, these become less scary and more... Jump scares themselves become less scary and more of, Hey, you failed. I'm just going to preemptively get up now. Yep, nothing's going. I might have jumped the gun on that one. All right, so door's open, lights on, that's fine. But see, there's no... Well, I guess the game gets harder. If I just stood here and not went to sleep. The whole point is to go to bed. But if I stayed up with the light on and just... Oh, hold on. And just watch the window like a hawk then it'd be no problem. I can win the game easily. Well, I could avoid dying easily. I wouldn't win the game. But I think it gets harder the longer this goes on. And look how big that bar is. Jeez. All right, hold on. Can I just, um, just let me smash the thing. I mean, there's a hammer right there. Windows closed, yep, okay. Door closed, cool. Just let me smash the damn alarm. It won't be an issue anymore. I'll put tape on it. Hold on. There you go. That's the door. Windows are fine. So just wait for the door to shut. Matter of fact, let's watch the bitch. Oh, hold on. Damn it. Shush. There we go. Closed. Closed. Going to bed. some point I would have fell asleep and not heard the noises anymore. Because what's the point? If I'm awake listening, I'm not a... I mean, I might as well be awake down there. By the way, this has gone on too long. What's up? Okay, everything's fine. Door's still shut. Window's still... Shut. Oh, hold on. Oh, just you. All right, doors probably go open up next. Oh, God dang it. Hold on. It's just your fears, kiddo. Just go to bed again. You're coming down off the X. There we go. I didn't hear that, actually. So the alarm set me off. Otherwise, I would have missed the door. Probably didn't hear it in my own talking. Uh, but yeah, again, these games have their... Hold on, that's too long of nothing happening. Nope, 
Everything's fine. I'm just panicking. I mean, it is the first night, as it were. Hmm. But, yeah, these games have their own following, and it is fun. It's just not my cup of tea. Really, nothing's going to happen? Fine, I'm going to go to bed. Then we'll see what happens. Close, close, close. Yep, okay. Oh, come on! All right, doors open, lights on, though. As soon as you shut, I'll go to bed. Come on, shut. Still closed? Still closed. There we go. We're halfway there, though. Living on a prayer. Take my hand. We'll make it, I swear. Whoa! Living on a prayer. Sleeping in my own piss. Anything? Okay. Come on. Oh, light on. Thing off. Window closed. Door open. Come on. Shut. I need to go to bed. Thank you, inconsiderate monsters. Why can't they be like the little monsters from that one film, Little Monsters, huh? They were fun, exciting, and got the kid miles away from his house. Oh, hold on. How did he explain that to his parents? Hold on. Yeah, Mom, I'm halfway across the country. No, this monster took me underneath the bed all the way across. What do you mean? No, I don't want to be in a psychological ward. I mean, again, these games, I mean, these things, we ex we see what happens, we believe it, but try explaining this to the parents the next day. Yeah, the kid's going away to a loony bin, or at least going to be on some antidepressants. Not depressants, anti-psychotics? Um, Anyways, it's been too long. Uh, doors closed, windows closed. I'm waiting. Ha! Look at those skills. So it actually jiggles a little bit before it goes off. Oh, hold on. Just in case. Oh, it was the door. I thought it was the window. Or do you just bounce normally? No. Nope. You do just bounce normally. Can you shut, please? Okay, it's an I test. I see a E, a F, T, W. Oh, hold on. Something made noise. Window? Yeah, window. Okay. Uh, doop. Oh, God. Hold on, hold on. Shush. Door's still shut, at least. Oh, come on. X out of bed. Inconsiderate assholes. You know what? I. Just because you have the day. Sh a night. Sh no, wait a minute. Just be, yeah, night shift? I don't know. Just because of, kind of, mm. That sounds more like a record. Like one of those sound effects you hear on the record. That's supposed to be like the record skipping. Like, whoosh. You used to hear it in 90s pop songs all the time. What the hell's that noise? It's just that beat in my heart it is. Like the sound of the window open sounds like one of those sound effects you used to hear on uh, uh, R&B records back in the day. Door shut, window shut. I just turned the light. You can go fuck off. Anyways. Boop. You go fuck off? Again, I see FTW. Like that sound effect. That s sounds. Oh, I know what it is. It sounds like a tape loading. Which you kids these days don't know what that's like. But yeah, that sounds almost like a deck hitting play on a. Uh, Magnetic tape, like an old, uh, uh, almost not, well, <laughs> an old car radio one. Uh, boop. Boop. No? Okay. Shoosh. Hush, my darling. Hush, my, by the way, is there a monkey on this one? Look me in the eye. Tell me what you see. A perfect paradise with all these fuckers fucking me. I wish I could escape. Again, almost sounds like a tape loading. And I'm supposed to listen when it's open? Anyways, I'm a bad liar. And the alarm's about to go off. Oh, fucking hell. X out of here. Really? 
inconsiderate asshole. Anyways, I'm going here because you're about to go off. I don't see a monkey anywhere in this one. I see you staring at me, though. Everyone cool? All right, I'm going to bed. Peace out. I mean, I'm pretty close. Is that the end right there? Oh, hold on. Nope. Are you? No, you're not open. Oh, come on. Again, it's some kind of old sound effect I remember from the, like, uh, I don't know, r and is what I remember. Like, you'd have that repeating sound in between cuts or something, from the bridge to the chorus or something. Yeah, you can see there. I'm almost, hold on. Okay, you're closed, you're closed, you're open. Yeah, I'm almost there. Oh, hold on, hold on. I'm listening for that. Nope, okay. I mean, I might be able just to shoot past anything that they do. Almost there. Nope. Oh, hold on. One last thing. There you go. That should be it. Victory is mine. Monsters defeated. Go fuck yourselves. My sheets are impregnable from your the uh, attacks. Hello? One night down. Easy. Oh yeah, I have to do this for a week, don't I, until dad gets back. Again, kids, this is why you don't do drugs. Just, it's, yeah, it's all fun and hot, fun and good and while you're on the high. But the calm down. I've seen men sweat and throw fits. Coming down off of, hey, I have some nice beats. I'm dying. And how come they don't attack during the day? Like reasonable adults, monsters. Oh, do I have to leave? I was expecting it say, ready for day two. Begin. Like how come there isn't a mini game for two? So very easy, easy, normal, normal. And then I think this is just an alpha so they don't go too far. But anyways, yeah. So again, they add something beside you. So they add something new each time. What lurks underneath? Oh, underneath the bed. That's a classic. The price of proof. What, we have to try to get something to prove our dad that we're not crazy! Anyways, but yeah. Again, I'm not a big fan of these games, but this, again, the first time I fell because I didn't realize the light was on or off. Once I got that mechanic down, it was straightforward and pretty easy to go through, so. Ah, uh, yeah. But again, like with these five, well, again, this is a bit more in, in, intricate than Five Nights. But like that one, when it first came out, yes, it was scary. But when you started playing long enough, by the way, I've never actually played them. But they became less scary, more as, ah, fuck it, I failed. So again, the initial, and again, because I have a theory, a game theory, anyways. <laughs> that it's not the boo scare that made Five Nights scary. I mean, it helped, and it is there. Because jump scares are a thing, they will forever be one. It's a nice cheap way of doing it. But, it's when you first fuck up, and you know you failed, and you're just waiting. The anticipation in that is what's scary in Five Nights. And this one, it's scary, but I mean, there was less anticipation because I was in control the whole time. So, I'm pretty sure once things get more hectic... But see, that's just it. With Five Nights, you're there. You're not physically, frantically doing stuff. So, you have more time to focus on, fuck, I messed up here. I'm going to fail. They made it past here. I'm out of power. Do, 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 do. You know, that kind of stuff. Because again, atmosphere, anticipation are some of the strongest scares ever. Jump scares get you, but they're a bit cheap. And again, to reiterate, that's not what Five Night and these kind of games are. 
But I'm, again, drunkenly trying to put together something I should write down into a script and say properly. But, again, Amnesia, the first one, had one of the most brilliant leads up, lead up to a scare I ever had. It still holds a high place in my mind as far as scary games. And again, Five Nights at Freddy's, while seeing other people play, again, that anticipation is where the scare is. Eventually, it just becomes failure jump scares, which aren't scary anymore. Just, ha, you failed. So, that's a ha as in laughing, not ha as in scared. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, I'll have the information down below if you want to try any of the other chapters. Because, again, this is completely free. This is a demo, an alpha. So, you can try it for yourself. Tell me what you think down below. And your thoughts on scary games. Jump scares, are they your thing? Are they not? Do you prefer anticipation or, yeah, anticipation or atmosphere when it comes to scary games? So, and what was your favorite scary game? Amnesia, Silent Hill, um, uh, the RE demo. Or was it RE? No, no. Well, Resident Evil, the newer ones, are really can have done a great thing. And even that one, to go on another tangent here, uh, RE7, the star of that game, very scary, very good. But as it goes on, it loses a little bit of the scare and becomes its atypical game. Now, still a great game towards the end, but it loses a little bit of that, ah, well, mainly because you're able to fight back. So that's what the um, PE, that's the one, the legendary PE was. You're fucked. There's no fighting back. Things are just happening to you type thing. So, but again, it's a mixture. Do you prefer that horror where you can't fight back or where you do fight back? Is one scary or is one more fun, et cetera, et cetera. So again, there's plenty of comment down below. If anyone actually watched these videos and those who do, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, but uh, it'd be interesting to have a conversation down below about what is a good scare. What isn't anticipation versus atmosphere jump scare versus regular scare and again defensive versus uh completely uh what's the word i'm looking for where you can defend yourself versus where you're completely helpless because sure one's scary but the other can still be scary it just has to be done right so anyways again i'm rambling comment down below with anything that i said if it made sense tell me i guess <laughs> otherwise thanks again for watching and i'll see you next time